Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you're new in this channel, please do subscribe and hit the notification button so you will notified on my next video. So for this video, I will answer all the questions that you write down on my my blogs, my visa blogs. So hopefully one of your questions will be answered today. So stay tuned. Okay, so shall we start? I will try to read all the questions. I actually um, check all the questions from different blogs, so hopefully I can able to answer everything. You know, if not, then check my other my other blogs next time. Okay, so the first question is coming from Ahmed Sahin. I hope I pronounce your name right. If not, forgive me. So the question is: Thanks for helping, and I, I also want to know. I am a student in Ireland and I'm working around three months because I arrived here four months ago. Therefore, if I apply for these days, is it bad for me to get a visa? What do you think? Should I wait for a few months more? I will apply for a standard visitor visa and I will only travel there maximum one week. Thank you. My answer to that question, Ahmed, is Although in the website, they mention about three to six months pay slip, I would suggest personally that you have to wait at least six months, so a couple of months more. Then you can you can provide your evidence, including your six months pay slip. So I hope, I hope this helped and good luck to your application. So the next question is coming from Sharon Nugin. Hi, I will need my passport for a trip. I'll go on soon. Do I have to pay to keep it? Is there any chance that if I, if I don't pay beforehand, I can pay on the day of the appointment? So the, my, my answer to that question, Sharon, is unfortunately, when you apply for the standard visitor visa, you have to provide the evidence, the document evidence, including your passport. So while you're waiting for the decision, you can't hold your passport while you're waiting for the decision. So at this point in time, when you submit all the evidence or when, when you apply for the visa, you can't plan any trip outside the country. So I would suggest personally that if you submit your application, you, you, you don't need to plan any um, travel, maximum three months. But on my, on my experience, when I apply for the standard visitor visa, I only wait maximum three weeks. So I hope this helped and good luck to your application. Okay, so the next question is coming from Ayosha Amen. Thanks, your video was very informative. Just two questions I want to ask you. Does the sponsor have to be employed like mandatory? And as I'm pregnant and working is proving difficult, also what does it mean that he can support himself? Must he have some money in his account? Or flowing income if he will if he, if he will be here how can he still be receiving money also must the person filling the application click tourism or visiting wife or fiance the application in my case it's my husband can he say he's coming to visit his wife and be there for the birth I would appreciate your reply God bless you okay so Ayosha Ahmed, your situation is quite complicated compared to others because first of all, you said you are pregnant and then second, um, you don't have work as well. And your husband, you mentioned that is not working as well. So in that case, it's very difficult to apply for the visa for the sponsoring because when you say you're sponsoring your family or friends or your husband, you should have capability to support you have enough money in your bank to support your husband while he, while he is here in the UK. If you are if you don't have money and if you are not working and you are giving birth, I think it's very difficult to sponsor the husband. Okay? But if if your husband will applying for a spouse visa because you said you're married, so I think you have to provide also the evidence, you know, financial evidence that you you have capability to provide or to support your husband while he is here. So it's quite complicated. It's not a straightforward situation. But um, um, I hope, you know, um, I can able to advise you and I can able to recommend based on my experience. But I don't think um, sponsoring your husband is able to help 
to get your husband here in the UK because you're, you're, you're not working. And same with your husband, he can't able to apply for a standard visitor visa to, to visit you while, you know, for your birth here in the UK because he's not working as well. So I'm not sure what, what I can recommend, really. And good luck to your situation. I hope this helps. So we have to proceed with the next questions coming from Zina Ferns. Thank you for your video. Can you advise what category visa I should apply if I'm visiting UK to attend my sister's wedding? So I think um, I think that's easy. You can apply for a standard visitor visa. Standard visitor visa is valid for six months. Uh, just ask your sister to provide you an invitation. It helps to your application. And as long as you provide all the evidence, like six months pay leave, bank statement, and also the accommodation that you're staying here in the UK, and I think you can easily get your visa. And you just only wait two to three weeks, you will get a visa immediately. So I hope this helped and good luck to your application. Okay, so the next question is coming from Abuliklik Medina. So this is so informative. Can I ask if I still need to apply for Schengen visa to go to UK? I'm a Filipino working and living in Singapore. Okay, to answer that question, um, Schengen visa is totally different to standard visitor visa when you apply for the visa to UK. So if you're traveling to Europe, you have to apply for Schengen visa. Okay? And also, if you're planning to, to go to Europe and visiting the UK at the same time of your trip, you have to apply both visa. So you have to apply for Schengen visa and you have to apply for standard visitor visa. Because... If you only have a Schengen visa and you travel to UK, um, they will not accept that visa to UK. So I hope this helped and good luck to your application. Okay, so proceed to the next question. So coming from Amira Abdi. So hi, my sister applied for a standard visit visa since she's never been to London and she really wants to come. She applied herself, but she did say she will be staying with me during her time. Does she need tenancy agreement to prove that I actually live here? Okay, to answer that question quickly, Amira, um, when your sister when when your sister visiting here in the UK, part of the part of the requirements is to provide the evidence of accommodation. So if she's staying with you, it's important that you provide the tenancy agreement. You know, a, a copy of tenancy agreement that to prove that she will staying with you and you have space for her. So that's really important. Okay. Next question is also, will the TLS center in her hometown send her appointment confirmation? Your sister, after, you after your sister's application online completed, you know, means um, she provided, um, uploaded all the documentation online and complete the application, means she have to go to TLS website to schedule her appointment for biometrics. She have to do that, okay? Uh, the TLS contract will not going to send you. You have your sister have to to visit this website uh, to book that appointment, okay? And and also to answer your other questions that you write down on my blog, I have other video you know regarding the standard visitor visa requirements. So ask your sister to to watch that video. So what the, what requirements she needs to provide during your application? I hope this helped and good luck to your application. The next question is coming from Ricardo Mora. Hi, I'm applying as a U.S. green card holder. I just did my biometric, but I don't know what to do next. I don't have any knowledge of what is next. Please tell me about it. Thanks. Thank you for that question, Ricardo. My short answer is depending on their country of, of citizenship and the purpose of the visit. Okay, so have you submitted all your requirements? If you do submit a submitted all your requirements because you've done your biometrics so the only thing you have to do is wait for the decision so they will inform you through message or through email um and then hopefully you will be able to get your visa to come here in the uk so i hope this helped and good luck to your application to comment on the previous uh questions okay about the green card holder who applying for the visa in the uk so do green card holder need visa to uk yes they do the answer for that and if you would normally require a visa to enter the UK, then you will have to apply for one, for one, even if you have a green card. Unfortunately, a green card does not allow to hold the holder to enter the UK just like it does not allow them 
to enter the European Union. I hope this helped. Also, in addition to that, if you are a U.S. citizen, you don't need a visa for tourists or business travel to the United Kingdom. And you can stay for up to six months. So I hope this helped. Um, the difference between, you know, U.S. citizen and a green card holder. So that's all for today's guys. Um, if your question haven't answered in this blog, try to wait for other blog or check my other blog and watch it. Uh, maybe one of your questions has been answered there. So yeah, if you have any question or clarification, please comment below and I'm happy to answer it when time is permit. Good luck to your application.